Hello Sanrio mystery snack box. That looks pretty good. It's so sour. Ooh. Hey guys, it's Smiley here. In today's video, we're going to be opening up this Sanrio, Hello Sanrio mystery snack box. I'm super excited because I found this at um, World Market and they have subscription boxes, which this is probably one of them, but they sold this like at like uh, a couple of these boxes there for $39.99, so it's quite expensive. Let's see what exciting snacks there is inside. I just love the packaging. Like, honestly, I'll keep this box and figure out something to do with it. It's such a cute box. Like, look at all of the cute little characters on there. Let me open it, and we're going to have a little taste test. If I can even get the box open. I definitely hear some sort of liquid in here swashing around. Okay. So I'm going to let you guys look at it first. Let's take a look. So there's actually quite a lot of stuff in here. They still kept the Hello Sanrio look inside the box as well. I see a lot of Kit Kats. There's a Sakura Mochi flavor. That looks pretty good. There's another one of that and a Yuzu Matcha flavor as well. So I'm gonna try the Sakura Mochi flavor. I don't know what, so Sakura, which I'm pretty sure is a flower. I don't know if they're gonna make this Kit Kat very floral. It smells kind of like strawberry and white chocolate. It's definitely interesting. I don't think I like it. it kind of tastes a little chalky. Well, let's try the Yuzu Matcha. So it's probably gonna be like a citrusy green tea flavor. It smells like green tea. I think I like that one better. I'm not a big matcha person, but the citrusy flavor helps. All right, let's try something else. The next thing I see is this Ramune candy flavor thing. Pag packaging is really cool. It does look like a Ramune soda drink, but it looks like candy version. The bottle's pretty cool. A little sour. It tastes like Smarties. It literally tastes like Smarties, but it's faster to eat. That's pretty good. I would give that like a, I'll give it a, Four out of five. Okay, the next thing I see are these. I can't read that, but the packaging's really cool. It's also another Ramune Smarty thing. Yep, but with more flavors. So there's like a strawberry version. Hmm. There's literally a warning that says, this product contains chemicals known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects or other reproductive harm. That's kind of scary. <laughs> it's literally this, but with other flavors. And I see seaweed. Oh, just one. This one's a roasted seasoned seaweed with Hello Kitty packaging. I won't eat that now because it's just probably gonna taste like seaweed, but that's cool. 
I don't know if I would want to use this though because then you'd ruin the packaging all nice and cute. Okay, next I see this Kyoshin candy soda box, which it looks a little more different than the Smarties. These actually look more like hard candy. It has a couple flavors. But there's a stick in here, so that's weird. So it comes with a stick, a little toothpick. I guess I just poke it. Mmm. This one's pretty good. It just tastes like gummy bears. And very chewy, so like a hairball kind. I'll definitely eat all of that. Five out of five. Next is this rice cracker Hello Kitty packaging. Once again, show you the packaging. So it's just a rice cracker. And they have and the little like sugar crystals at the top is pink colored. I'm pretty sure that's just pie food coloring, not like it's gonna be strawberry flavored. These rice crackers are really good because it's like salty and sweet at the same time, but not too sweet. So if you ever see these, whether it's Hello Kitty or not, they're really good. Five out of five. Okay. Next, I see a Crunch Milk Candy Peco, Peco Sweets. Oh, it's just milk candy. I've had milk candy before, but probably, I don't think I've had this milk candy before. This one has like a very old school packaging look. The color schemes and everything. It tastes like milk candy. Next, I have a wheat cracker, which I would assume it's kind of similar to this one right here. So this is Kerapi, if you didn't know who Kerapi is. This one is called Kawaii Cookies. So they just look like this, which I've had these before. Not my favorite type of snack because they're just very plain tasting. So I'd give this one like a three out of five, but let's try this one. Who knows, this one might be a little different. It looks like they're strawberry flavored, but they said they're wheat cookies, wheat crackers. Ah, interesting. Do I have to make this or something? They're like waffle cones, three of them. And then they have like this packaging. Let's try it out. There's no instruction or anything, but they have like these, sounds like sugar crystals. This is a weird snack. <laughs> I assume they have this little cute little spoon too. I don't think you could see that, but that's a spoon. I feel like this snack will be so messy. So I guess you just fill it up. I feel like this is literally just sugar. Seven hours later. Okay, that's, I think, enough. So I filled up my, my cone with that sugar pink powder. Let's try this. It's so sour. Ooh. I don't get this candy. And it's like bubbling in my mouth. It's so sour. Ugh. 
That one's like a one out of five. I do not like that. Okay, there's like this, there's no English thingy on this, but it looks like another milk candy because there's a cow on there. And it looks like a taffy sort of thing. Or maybe like a cracker. It smells like a cracker. Oh, there's definitely nuts in this one. Peanuts. Oh, I don't like this one. It has no flavor, it just tastes like nuts and the weird chewy thing around it. <coughs> Not my thing. One out of five, too. Okay. Oh, look, there's a Gudetama potato salted egg yolk flavor. Now I've tried egg, salted egg chips before in a past video. If I remember which video it is, I'll link it down below for you guys. I do not like salted egg flavor, so I'll give this to someone who will like it. I'm not a fan of salted egg chips. I think it's just really the powdery flavor, like powdery consistency that's coating the chip which is this yolk the yolk and i love eggs but salted egg yolk flavored things is not my cup of tea this packaging is really cute though like i love the gudetama on it it's really cute this bag alone is probably five six bucks salted egg is so expensive but anyways i'll give this to someone who will enjoy it so I'm just gonna leave it in the bag like this, but not my cup of tea, just saying. Next, I see two, um, this one's biscuits with strawberry cream, which is kind of like yan yan, and then this one's pocky, which is strawberry flavored. So two strawberry things, obviously to suit the colors of Hello Kitty. I already know I love these. My favorite type of yin yin flavor is the chocolate one though. I'm sure the strawberry one will be just as great. But I'll open up the Pocky right now. I'm sure these both items will be a five out of five for me. Delicious. The next thing is a Hello Kitty wafer cookie chocolate flavor. Nice. Now there's something that's chocolate. I don't think I've ever had this one before, but I've definitely had these type of styles of wafer cookies. The packaging is all so cute. It's like, how do you open these things and keep them considering they're not gonna be able to survive? Poor packaging. All that work for them to make these cute packaging and then you just gotta throw it away. Okay, here's the stick. I can easily down like 20 of these. Five out of five. The last but not least, there's two um, Ramune flavors. This one is the strawberry, and this one's the classic Ramune, which I don't know what the classic Ramune flavor is. Like, supposed to be like a, I think kind of like a Sprite, I think. There's two of these. I'll just open one because I would have to finish these and I don't want it to be like, all half open things so i'll try the classic if i can even open it so let's get the marble in there <sighs> i can never open these things <laughs> it's because i'm stupid i needed to take the wrapping outside of it. Okay, ready? I did it. It's bubbling. 
It's bubbling. Do you hear the sizzle? You probably don't. Okay. <laughs> but do you see the marble that's fizzing in there? Okay, let's try it. Tastes like a little slight citrus water that's carbonated. So I guess you could say like a sparkling water. It's not bad. I think this is my first time trying like a classic one. Weird like top though. It's like you can't really put your mouth anywhere like comfortable sitting. But look at how cute that is. Little hell kitty there. Now that is everything in this box. I definitely will enjoy all of the snacks. So there's um some more prints inside. I definitely will keep this box. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I'll keep it and I'll figure something out to do with it. But it's really nice. So most of these snacks I've definitely tried before. Nothing too crazy, but obviously all the packaging is the Hello Kitty packaging. It's definitely more interesting to look at and more pretty with your eyes. You know, you eat with your eyes, okay? You eat with your eyes. So I was super excited to see this mystery box and what I had inside. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video too. Hopefully this video made you guys smile. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this or more smiley content, make sure you guys give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure you hit the notification button so you know when I upload a new video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.